Hi guys! In the previous video, we saw the characteristics and operation of the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. In this project, we use it to create a distance meter for parking a car by connecting it to an Arduino Nano and creating a digital display with WS2818B NeoPixel LEDs. So let's start with 3D modulation of the display. I use Fusion 360. I designed the display case in three parts, the front, the back and the individual segments that make up the display digits. The individual segments are printed with a thin layer of white PLA that allow the light of the LEDs to pass through in a diffused way and the segment will be uniformly illuminated and the individual LEDs will not be distinguishable. For 3D printing, as a slicer I use Bruce Slicer. And here you can see how to place the pieces on the plate. Now all materials are ready for assembly. The part that make up the container, the segments in white PLA, the ultrasonic sensor, an Arduino Nano, the sensor container. Neopixel LEDs and the cable that will connect the sensor to the display. The sensor container is printed in PLA and has two side holes for wall mounting. The ultrasonic sensor is inserted inside and is blocked by the rear support Now it's time to insert the white segment inside the space on the front of the container. We arrange all the pieces correctly and begin to insert them by applying pressures. At the end of insertion, check that all segments are inserted as far as they will go and align with the surface of the container. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant coat feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. Show the sequential number of the LEDs, which will then be used to develop the source for Arduino. Now 
Now let's start cutting the new pixel strip into pieces of three LEDs each. Be careful to cut exactly in the middle of the pads in order to let's a correctly solder. Let's start gluing the three LED strips onto the base of the display support. Be careful to apply them in the current direction indicated by the diagram shown on the video. We prepare the pad with thin solder before applying the connection wire. And now we start soldering the wires on the pad, trying to keep them equidistant and isolated. Once the connection has been completed, it's time to test the operation of the LEDs by loading the demo program linked in the description into Arduino. We fix the three containers using M3 screw.
we apply the M3 threaded insert using a soldering iron. Slowly hit the insert and wait for it to penetrate into its seat without pressing too much. The speed you observe in the video is deliberately accelerated. Once all the connections have been completed, we fix the display bases to the upper part using M3 screws. We solder the four wire of the sensor cable to a four pole strips. If you like the video, leave a comment so I will prepare the second part in which we show you how to program the code for Arduino.